Hello, it is I, James, future multilingual, here to talk about the myth of the accentless. Now, obviously, quite clearly, when people say to you, and what they say is, oh, but you don't really have an accent. And often what they mean is they're saying it to someone who they think probably should have an accent, maybe because they're from a working class area. And it's sort of like going on the road along to, but where are you really from? So, but they, there is this myth that some people don't have an accent, no? Now, go back and look at like, the video I did with Dr. Garcia, the neuro neurologist who specialises in um, in the development of accents, really, and the way we say things. And you'll know that what, you know, normally when we're a child, but when we have a lot of input in a language, we develop a, 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 an implicit mental representation of the language. And that, that implicit mental representation, that knowledge, guides the mouth. Mouths don't guide brains, people. Whatever repeats after me as on YouTube say, brains guide mouths. It should be. It should be stark staring the obvious, shouldn't it? <laughs> it's not. And they've got millions of views. But never mind. Okay. And then that, in the safe, in, with the example of vowels in English, that determines how you position your so tongue and therefore how the sound comes out of your mouth. Um, yeah, but... Some people, they like to use, no, some people, they like, they're sort of, when they say accentless, they're saying something else. What they're saying is they're using words, code words, discriminatory code words. Yeah, that's right. To other or exclude certain people, they're saying those code words in order well, I've just told you why. I won't say it again. <laughs> yeah, so, so the code words is, uh, like, Jamie versus Japan's code word is pleasant. The other code words are um, intelligible. Um, yeah, they're two big ones, aren't they? Clear, clear, that's another code word. And what it misses, right, is that all communications are a two-way street. They're a two-way street, yeah? So the listener can bring things to the conversation that stop the understanding, not just the speaker, yeah? And what this is used to is it's a code word that's used to eliminate certain speakers. So, oh, we won't employ that new immigrant to the country because uh, their accent's not clear. Oh, oh, God, yes, he sounds... Uh, no, it's unusual. What, what does he sound? Oh, God, I don't want to say the word black, yeah? Or, God, he sounds working class, yeah? And these, so they use code words. Pleasant, for example, like Jamie versus Japan. Yeah, in order to discriminate against those people. Um, yeah, and so, what accentless really means is the right kind of language. And that is obviously problematic. Now, I went onto YouTube and I thought, can, can we find, can we find a BSer talking about this topic? I found one! I found one! Yay! I found one! I found one! It's Julian or Julian Northbrook. Okay, so Julian starts the video, Julian, sorry, by saying, um, nobody's accentless. But then he says he's taking it too literally. And that some people, so if he's taking it too literally, saying nobody's accentless, then taken not too literally, some people are accentless. Yeah, is that right, Julianne? Can you confirm that? What? No! Nobody's accentless, Julianne. What are you talking about? Right? So, then, he says, look, it's, he, he, was, he invited this person on his channel, and being, like, the thorough individual he is, yeah, he wanted to do some research first. Of course he did! So he watched a few of uh, their videos interviewing people in the street. Doing, like, oh, yeah, that is research for that interview. But, oh, you know, before you make language acquisition videos, you need to, like, know about language acquisition, too. As well as watching, what, well, essentially just a few easy languages videos. 
does that qualify you to make a, a, a whole um, a whole video on language acquisition and accents? I don't think so, Julian. I don't think so, me old mate. Um, okay, so the next thing he says is that what accentless really means in the good sense. In the good sense. Do, 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 do. I don't know why. Just took me upon myself to do it like, like, like that. Um, yeah, he, um, he said what it means in the good sense is, uh, is being clear. And he gives the example of these people in the USA. And he says all of them thought they were accentless, but actually he, they had, in his words, a southern drawl. Um, what people do is they try and gain some sort of cred and expertise by giving terminology, but not related to language acquisition, obviously, but related to different accents. But it's actually terminology that's just completely in the uh, uh, in in the common lexicon. Dr. Wright actually said to me that when she was younger, she was encouraged not to speak with with, with her southern accent. Uh, and so that's interesting to me. That's obviously something that's informed her work, her brilliant work on racialization. It's also like something that's informed Julian, no? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, so, right, um, Julian says that, um, that uh, yeah, so you need to be clear. But the, he said these people, they didn't realize. They didn't realize that he, Julian, he realized that what they thought was accentless was actually relative to the people around them. But he didn't realise, he didn't realise that clarity, being clear, is also not a neutral term. Oh, holy Anne. <laughs> How could you not realise that? Oh, God, you are so close with the two minutes of research you did. So close. Anyway, so he says that, yeah, he doesn't realise that clear is not relative, no? There needs to be one. When, look, one, you clear will be used to exclude all sorts of people who just sound different. All sorts of people who just sound different. Yeah? And they'll generally be people who are excluded for other reasons. People who are new to a country. Working class people. Black people. Yeah? We've seen lots of research on how people make phone calls and, like, um, when they use what's considered an African American English accent. Well, an African American English accent. They're treated differently to when they use what they say is a standard, standard accent. So, you know, people bring all sorts of biases to the word clear and it is not neutral. Yeah. So pretending it is doesn't help anyone. Let's take a situation. Yeah. A newly arrived immigrant sits down in a restaurant. Somebody who's lived in that country or somebody who's from that country for years comes over and asks him what he wants. He says he wants lunch and some other... Yeah, he describes what he wants, yeah? The person doesn't understand him. Now, is all the emphasis for being understood on the newly arrived Im immigrant? Or does the waiter bear any responsibility for trying to understand people? Why is it always... Why is it all the stress always on the people whose lives are made most difficult all the time. That waiter could have biases that stop him from understanding that person. He could just be lazy and think, oh, no, I don't understand this person. But all the emphasis is on the newly arrived immigrant to perfect his clarity or to become accentless in the way that's not too literal for Julian. And so it just becomes boring and it just becomes quite offensive actually to tell people that they have to perfect their accent in order for other people to understand them all the time, all the pressure on them, building up the perfectionism, building up the anxiety for them. Now you may think, oh James, it's just a video. But again, 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 it's people doing just no research, just no deep critical thinking on a topic before spouting out brain farts. 
in order to get 69,000 views. So that is, in YouTube's reckoning, about $200. Continuing stereotypes, continuing to promote the idea that it's okay to discriminate against people because their accent's not clear or they're not accentless for $200. That's James, future multilingual. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the conversation.